So here in chapter 1-1, functions, on example 4, we're asked to find a function value of a function, uh, of a function equation. And this uh, corresponds to page 7 in your textbook. These are examples 4a, 4b, and 4c that we're going to work in this video. And so here we're given, so if we've got a function f of x, equals 2x plus 3 over x squared minus 2x plus 1. It's then asking us to find f of 12, which means what is the value here of f of x when, in fact, x is equal to 12. And so all we're going to do here is just plug and chug this. And so let's see. We're going to substitute in 12 for every value of x in this function. So we've got 2 times 12 plus 3 over 12 squared minus 2 times 12 plus 1. Okay, so let's see. 2 times 12 is 24. So now we've got 24 plus 3 over and 12 squared is 144, I happen to know. It helps to know your multiplication tables. Minus 2 times 12, which is going to give us negative 24, plus 1. And so now all we're going to do is combine like terms. And so 24 plus 3 is 27 over 144 minus 24 is going to give us 120 plus 1. And... When f of x is equal to 2x plus 3 over x squared minus 2x plus 1, find f of 12, where well, f of 12 is 27 over 121. Now we're going to look at another one, and then a third. The third one's going to be a little bit more complex. All right, well, so we've got the same function equation, f of x equals 2x plus 3 over x squared minus 2x plus 1. And this time we're asked to find f of 6x. And so, again, we're going to substitute 6x for every place that we see an x in our function equation. So let's get started. So now we've got 2 times 6x plus 3 over... 6x squared minus 2 times 6x, negative 2 times 6x, plus 1. All right, well, let's see. Let's work on the numerator first. 2 times 6x, and we'll give us 12x plus 3. And let's see, 6x squared. We've got to square both the 6 and the x, and so that's going to give us 36x squared. And then we got negative 2 times 6x. It's going to give us minus 12x plus 1. Let's see, can we combine any like terms? Nope, can't. So here we go. When f is 6, find f of x, find, excuse me, find f of 6x when f of x is equal to 2x plus 3 over x squared minus 2x plus 1. And our answer is 12x plus 3 over 36 minus 12x plus 1. That one's not too bad. Next one's got a little, little bit of a twist to it. Okay, so this is the last of the guided practices on example four, page seven, this is 4C. We've got the same function equation. If f of x equals 2x plus 3 over x squared minus 2x plus 1, find f of minus 3a plus 8. And so we're going to have to substitute in this binomial right here, this binomial, negative 3a plus 8, everywhere we see an x, into our function no notation and then solve it. So let's first at least get the thing written out. So we've got 2 times negative 3a plus 8 plus 3 over 
negative 3a plus 8 squared minus 2 times negative 3a plus 8 and then finally plus 1. Okay, now one of the things I find when we're working more complicated problems, we need more, we always have to think about that we can use space. Don't be chintzy on space. Problem I've got here in this video is I don't have a lot of space. So let's go ahead and do the numerator. We're going to distribute this 2 to the negative 3a plus 8. That's going to give us negative 6a plus 16 plus 3. And I'm going to come back to that and, uh, on, as far as on the like terms. Now, I've got this negative 3a plus 8, and I've got to square it. That means I'm going to have to use something called, we should be familiar with, FOIL. And I'm going to come down here on this left side because I'm worried about space, and I'm going to FOIL negative 3a plus 8. So let's get it started. Negative 3a plus 8 times negative 3a plus 8. Now, FOIL, of course, means that we're going to proceed and we're going to do the first terms, then the outer terms, then the inner terms, and then the last terms. So first terms, negative 3a times negative 3a. Well, that's going to give me 9a squared. And let's see, negative 3a times positive 8 is going to give me negative 23 times 8. Negative 3 times 8 is negative 24a. Then I'm going to do my inner terms, which is a positive 8 times the negative 3a. And that is going to give me negative 24a. And then lastly, 8 times 8 is... 64, so plus 64. And I got two terms I can combine. I can combine the two negative 24a's. And so when I FOIL this, I've got 9a squared less 48a plus 64. Okay, so we're going to put this all under here. Let's go 9a squared less 48a plus 64. All right, and now I've got to distribute this negative 2 to the negative 3a plus 8. So when I do that, negative 2 times negative 3a is going to give me 6a plus 6a. And negative 2 times 8 is going to be negative 16. And then I've got the 1. Okay. Now, up top in the numerator, I can combine the 16 and the 3. So that's going to give me I'm going to write this in a different color. It's going to give me negative 6a plus 19. And that's going to be over. So let's see. Well, that should have been a 48a right there. Okay. All right. So the only term that I've got that's got something squared is the 9a squared. Okay. And let's see. We've got negative 48a plus... 6a, or negative 48a plus 6a is going to give me negative 42a. And then we've got 64 minus 16 plus 1. So let's see, 64 minus 16 is going to give me 48, and plus 1 is going to give me 49, after I combine all my like terms. And so when f of x is equal to 2x plus 3 over x squared minus 2x plus 1, and we're asked to find negative f of negative 3a plus 8. Our answer shall be negative 6a plus 19 over 9a squared less 42a plus 49. So we had to FOIL, distribute, combine like terms. We had a lot of stuff going on, numerator and denominator, but there be our answer. Hot dog.